Today, Yeti and I are stealth camping in Florida, and we've been on the road for about three weeks now, and it's really hot. Um, we've been doing a lot of motel stays. Oftentimes when we're staying in the car, it's been pretty much unbearable and <laughs> and requires that I run my AC for a large majority of the night. So I had a really good idea. I ordered dog cooling beds, not just for Yeti, but also for me. So we're gonna test them out. Oh, there's a penny in my knife. And a tampon wrapper and a lot of sand. I'm definitely camped out somewhere I'm not supposed to be tonight, so I'm kind of wary of running my AC. Like, I just don't think it's a good idea. So hopefully this really helps us. I got them off of Amazon. Chills dog pad. Hopefully it works. Sorry. <laughs> Any instructions on this? Oh. Okay. Oh my god. No, this is not how big this is. Oh my god, it smells like fish so bad. Oh my god, that stinks. This is how big it is. This is the whole, I got a size large. I was like, I envisioned that this would be like half the size of my bed and I would lay on it. Shut up. Oh my god, oh my god. It's aired out a little bit and it's not that bad. What do you think, sir? No, wait. Does it smell good? <laughs> Fish pad number two. Yeti like loves cardboard and he loves shredding it more than anything. So that's what he's waiting for. He knows when I open a box, he gets to shred something. But you're not shredding it because I don't... The space is too small. Or he's waiting for these instructions. Okay. This one's significantly less stinky, so this is the one that I get. I wonder if he'll even sleep on this. Probably not. Also, I'm pissed off because I realized that I ruined the Christmas lights in my car yet again and they somehow got snipped when we were in the Keys. So I have no lights tonight. The only thing I have is this little Lucy light that I have put here. Um, I don't know what to do. We're gonna have to buy new lights, but I forgot for now. So we're not going to the store tonight. All right, let's go put this in the bed and see if it works. Okay, we're gonna do my little nighttime skincare routine. So, on nights like tonight, when I don't have a bathroom to go in to wash my face, I use these little Stridex pads. And they're just like... I also, this might be too much information, but I also use them on my back and like on my butt because sometimes if you drive a lot and it's hot you'll get little butt cheek pimples if you're not careful so this really helps with those and I'm extremely glamorous so I keep all my skincare in a giant plastic bag Paula's Choice Ooh, I like love this stuff I'm pretty sure all of that just dumped out of my hand and onto my bed, but whatever. I used to do a lot more before bed at night, but I've kind of just given up. This is my fucking $100 eye cream. It's by Lumiere 
It's firm. I got it for my Botox lady. I haven't gotten Botox in like probably a year. Last December, I got Botox and I got, was the last time I got Botox and I also got my lips done again and as my Christmas present to myself. And I just, then my Botox lady quit and I'm just like too afraid to trust someone else with my face. But I will say, I think that Botox is a scam, but I also think that you get addicted to it. So you should never start it too young because then you'll be addicted to getting it done. Because I saw, I posted an Instagram picture. I'll put it in right here. I looked so old, like I looked so crusty. So anyway, I'm like doubling up on my eye cream again. Let me go in with my Willeda Skin Food. Love this shit. It smells like ointment. And then I put a little bit of rosehip oil on to seal that all in. I don't know. I'm going to hold it with my knees. And that is my skincare routine. I'm getting a little nervous because I am stealth camping. I'm definitely not supposed to be parked here. And there are cars going around. So I'm going to shut this bright light off so no one can see me. And I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning, little man. I slept so well on that dog cooling mat. I wrapped Yetis around him during the night no panting i think it was a little cooler last night though quite honestly but i slept so well like literally i feel refreshed honestly i'm so happy i can't believe that worked um, let's check out our view who's that it's my grammy <laughs> Jelly? Oh, thanks, Grammy. Gourmet meal. Mmm. That's about as gourmet as we get around here. I like that. Mmm. We're getting ready to leave. Amen. <laughs> Stop it. Bye. Love you. Love you, baby. We hate to see you go. We hate to see you go. Hi ho the dairy ho. We hate to see you go. Today is the day. We're headed north, baby. Um, I put in for West Virginia. I don't think I'm headed to West Virginia directly, but I just needed to get out of Florida, baby. I want some mountains and I want some crispy little leaves. <laughs> So today's gonna be a heavy driving day. <laughs> oh, I just listened to a sad song and I was crying. <sighs> We've been driving for like 20 minutes and I need a little break. I think I need to change because I've been wearing this outfit literally for three days at this point. 
and I also want to go get some water and I forgot to put the over and on. Oh my god. Let's clean ourselves up a little bit, huh? I put a new sticker on here. It's the southernmost point in Key West. Didn't get a picture there because of that line, but at least I have the sticker. I found another campsite. It's like two and a half, three hours away. It's on a lake. I don't know if it's gonna be where we're gonna camp tonight, but we're gonna go check it out because I figured it's like worth it. It's still in Florida, so it's not too far up. It being on a lake sounds nice in theory, but I think that it's either A, going to have alligators in it, or B, going to have tons of mosquitoes, which is kind of what I'm trying to avoid. I'd really like to have a day in the woods where it's a little bit nicer and no bugs. So that's why I'm headed north. I don't even know what I'm gonna wear. All of my clothes have just been kind of slammed in here. I feel like I haven't been wearing cute outfits this trip. And today is not the day that I'm about to start. <laughs> wear this little romper where I could wear a little skirt. Brown skirt. Or shorts. Oh, I'm gonna wear these denim shorts and then my little tie-dye tank top, I think. I think that'll be really cute. Big truck. Perfect. I'm gonna bring this into the gas station and change and also get some water for sure. Okay, car is running with AC small man is in the car i shut the door and now my car is barking because my keys are outside but that's okay it'll keep running and then i had them put this manual key on the outside of my car keys and it's usually in here but that's a pain in the ass for me to do all the time so i had them put it out here and then i manually lock these doors like this right so now the doors are locked but the car's still running with ac and little man doesn't get heat stroke but no one can steal my car or open my car doors so genius lots of people always ask how i lock him in the car that's how and then i just go into 7-eleven Ooh, this is very interesting it's halloween tomorrow fit check these shorts my friend alana gave me vintage levi's and this top is from Odd Cow. I love it. She gifted me this. So cute. You guys missed the drama. He's all worked up. Some dude just came up to me. I was cleaning the trash out of my car and some dude came up to me and was like, hey, hey, um, I noticed you have a beautiful dog. Do you want another dog? And I'm like, no. And then he's standing right behind the glass in, in my car. I'm outside of my car. The doors were shut, thank fucking God. But this guy literally stands behind the door and I go, he's gonna go crazy. And just like that, Yeti went absolutely mental. And the guy's just standing there staring at Yeti, like, like literally like this on the glass. Yeti's smashing up against the back glass. And I go, can you get away from my car? He's not friendly. And then the guy just like, finally went away but I don't know what it is with men like whenever Yeti is freaking the fuck out men just like stand there and stare at him like I don't really know what that's all about but like I think I would fucking like run away like that would scare the shit out of me because he's very scary but honestly that guy was creepy so I really didn't care that Yeti was freaking the fuck out honestly and I should correct that behavior but like I don't like strange men in my space and that guy was super fucking sketchy, but whatever, I mean, it wasn't a big deal. It was just some guy, what are you gonna do? Anyway, inside of 7-Eleven, I got this iced coffee and it tastes like a donut and it probably has so much fucking sugar in it and it's gonna make me shit my pants, but I don't care because it tastes really good. I also got 
twin snakes. Twin snakes! Twin snakes! Can you get your crazy little bark out? Do you feel better? Do you feel better? Because you scared that man away. And then the guy was like, oh. He's like, it's probably the hat. I'm like, it's probably you. <laughs> Bye. And then he got back in his mom's car. <laughs> you don't like this. I know for a fact you don't. But we do this every time. Every time. We have to remember that Yeti doesn't like candy. Told you. We just got to camp and oh my god it looks so good it looks so good let me show you so this leads out to the main road and then you come over here and it's this giant dirt road that goes all the way around this little pond and we drove around it and there are some campsites over here and over here these people might be staying long term but the people over here are just fishing. So I'm just gonna wait and see if they leave and then I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna stay. But if not, like, this looks pretty sweet. I don't know much about the water, but it's a little dusty, but there are lots of fish, a little bit of trash too, but it's so pretty. I love it. Just woke up from a little nap. I'm not going to stay here tonight. <laughs> I went on iOverlander and I was looking, because I wouldn't want to stay at this spot long term. So I went on iOverlander and I found some campsites in Georgia that are like really, really nice. And in order to go there, I would need supplies, like food and stuff. So I think tonight what I'm going to do, it's five hours away. So I think I'm going to drive two and a half hours to a Walmart that I can sleep in get supplies tonight while it's dark and I can leave Yeti in the car and then sleep there, wake up early and go to these spots and like check them out and find one that hopefully has good service. So that's my idea. I'm going to take Yeti outside to like run. Also, I need to pee really bad. Oh, that creepy truck is back. There's also just like a lot of activity around here, which I'm like, not fond of because everyone always seems to like anytime anyone sees a girl who is dressed like me like not outdoorsy and tough they always feel the need to like check in on them and that is like not my vibe and i don't want to be here with a bunch of men fishing because i don't want them to come talk to me so that's kind of what i'm avoiding by leaving right now hopefully I'm looking forward to getting new supplies because I don't have like any groceries or food to be staying in the woods for a couple days. So this is the plan. This is for the best. Do I have two and a half hours of drive time in me? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know when this happened, but this looks like a dog paw print and there's a big rip in my reflectix that I'm going to have to fix. What do you have to say for yourself? Anything? Nothing. What's on your face? Come on. Okay, we made it to Walmart. The lighting is really bad. I got a bunch of dog food. I'm gonna give you like a mini haul. The one thing that I desperately needed were the lights for my car and they did not have them. So I'm kind of upset about that. I got pineapple juice. I got a new cup because Cap, I let Cap put a mixed drink in my other cup, so I got a new one, but they didn't have the other color, so this is like a lilac purple. It's really pretty. I got these little snack packs, so they're apple slices, and then they have like cheese or chocolate covered pretzels, and I just like that for like a little snack. I got more tofu, more bagged salad. This is my fun bag. 
So I got oatmeal raisin cookies, mango slices, two cans of cream of chicken and dumpling soup because that's like my guilty pleasure thing. And then I got this vegan bacon. And the last fun thing that I got was this. It's prickly pear water. I'm really excited to try it. I'm not gonna try it till tomorrow, but I'm gonna try it. And we can sleep in this parking lot, but I'm gonna go over to a hotel and sleep there because I just feel like it's a little sketchy here. And if I put all my window coverings up, a hotel will be super quiet because no one will be in the parking lot except for me. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that and we're gonna look for a campsite. Not pictured was, I had a full on mental breakdown today. So I actually am not at the Walmart that I was supposed to be stopping at. I'm nowhere near where I was supposed to be. I freaked out, decided I was like ending my trip early, started, put in for Maine where I live and it took me like all the way east for some reason. So I drove like two hours east and then I was like, fuck, I have nowhere to sleep. Pulled up by Overlander. There's nowhere, nowhere near where I was east. So I had to backtrack an hour and a half and now I'm like a little bit south of where I would have ended tonight. But I think that was the universe way of telling me to like stick it out and finish the trip. I've just been battling like a lot of depression this trip and a lot of anxiety and my paranoia has been ramping back up and I don't really know why like I there nothing is going on in my life that would make any of that resurface but for some reason it is and I think that I was feeling a little bit depressed before I left for this trip and I just really pushed myself to go on this trip anyway because I was convinced that the trip would make me feel better but I think that that is not true and I need to prioritize my mental health so I think I'll be doing a couple of days camping and then I'll be heading back north. I also know that looking for a van is kind of like the only thing that I'm thinking about all day every day is that I just want to be like back in New England so that I can go like tour vans and look at these vans that I'm finding online. So, you know, it's, it's both of those things combined. I just really feel like I need to do what's best for me. So this will definitely be a shorter trip, but I'm still looking forward to doing a couple days of camping here in Appalachia. Did I say that right? Let me know. <laughs> I'm ready for bed to the best of my ability. So now we're gonna have this little snack. It's crazy because like right now my setup is I have a Lucy on like my oh shit bar. Um, this whole trip is just extremely reminiscent of the trip that I took last October which made me question whether or not I enjoyed car camping at all. And I definitely do. But I like to see like big ass mountains, desert. I'm more of a desert person for sure. I don't know. I think, I don't know what's going on with me, but I want to figure it out. Maybe I'll start seeing a therapist again. I lost a fingernail and these are acrylics. So what the hell am I gonna do? I don't know why I got these put on because honestly, now I have to go get them taken off. Actually, I have a bunch of fake nails. I'll just glue another fake nail on. Oh, also I did not go sleep in a hotel. I just pulled over because there's a really nice sprinter van right here. And I just parked next to them because I'm assuming they know what the fuck they're doing. So. And there's a giant schoolie behind me with like a full family with like little kids living in it. They went into Walmart to use the bathroom, but the bus is all painted really cool. Mm. I don't know about you guys. I love when people's vans or vehicles are like funky. I think that is so unique and so cool. And like some people are for it. Some people are against it. I don't know if I would do something like that. I kind of like want to like, I have a vanity plate on my car and I feel like that, like, I've had people message me and be like, I just drove by you on the highway on like Instagram and stuff. So like, I know that my car is recognizable, but like, I don't know. I feel like I would want like a van painted all funky. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. I would love some input. 
Anyway, I think I'm gonna try to go to bed. Today was very uneventful, but very stressful for some unknown reason. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I love you very much. I'll see you next time.